Coming in at number 10, Akamiga Kill. This anime has been dubbed, premiered in July 2014 with 24 episodes. Its genres are action, adventure, drama, fantasy, and shonen. Night Raid is the covert assassination branch of the Revolutionary Army, an uprising assembled to overthrow Prime Minister Onnit, whose avarice and greed for power has led him to take advantage of the Child Emperor's inexperience. Without a strong and benevolent leader, the rest of the nation is left to drown in poverty, strife, and ruin. Though the Night Raid members are all experienced killers, they understand that taking lives is far from commendable, and that they will likely face retribution as they mercilessly eliminate anyone who stands in the revolution's way. This merry band of assassins' newest member is Tatsumi, a naive boy from a remote village who had embarked on a journey to help his impoverished hometown and was won over by not only Night Raid's ideals, but also their resolve. Akame Gakil follows Tatsumi as he fights the Empire and comes face to face with powerful weapons, enemy assassins, challenges to his own morals and values, and ultimately, what it truly means to be an assassin with a cause. Number 9, Black Clover. This anime has been dubbed, premiered on October 2017 with over 120 episodes. Its genres are action, comedy, magic, fantasy, and shonen. Asta and Yuno were abandoned at the same church on the same day. Raised together as children, they came to know of the Wizard King, a title given to the strongest mage in the kingdom, and promised that they would compete against each other for the position of the next Wizard King. However, as they grew up, the stark difference between them became evident. While Yuno is able to wield magic with amazing power and control, Asta cannot use magic at all, and desperately tries to awaken his powers by training physically. When they reach the age of 15, Yuno Yuno is bestowed a spectacular grimoire with a four-leaf clover, while Asta receives nothing. However, soon after, Yuno is attacked by a person named Levity, whose main purpose is to obtain Yuno's grimoire. Asta tries to fight Levity, but he is outmatched. Though without a hope and on the brink of defeat, he finds the strength to continue when he hears Yuno's voice. Number 8. Rakudai Kishi no Calvary This anime has been dubbed, premiered on September 2015 with 12 episodes, and its genres are action, romance, ecchi, fantasy, and school. There exist few humans in this world with the ability to to manipulate their souls to form powerful weapons. Dubbed Blazers, these people study and train at the prestigious Hagen Academy to become Mage Knight. Among the students is so-called failure, Iki Kurogane, the sole F-rated Blazer. However, when the worst student in the Academy sees Stella Vermilion, an A-ranked Blazer who also happens to be a princess, naked, she challenges them to a duel with dire stakes. The loser becomes the slave of the winner. There's no possible way that Stella can lose, right? Budokai Kishi no Calvary follows the story of Iki as he tries to prove his strength to a world that believes him to be the weakest, all the while gaining new friends, wisdom, and experience. Number 7, God Eater. This anime has been dubbed, premiered on July 2015 with 13 episodes. Its genres are action, fantasy, military, and sci-fi. The year is 2071. Humanity has been pushed to the brink of extinction following the emergence of man-eating monsters called Aragami that boast an immunity to conventional weapons. They ravage the land, consuming almost everything in their path and leaving nothing in their wake. To combat them, an organization named Fenrir was formed as a last-ditch effort to save humanity through the use of God Eaters, special humans infused with oracle cells, allowing them to wield the God Ark, the only known weapon capable of killing an origami. One such God Eater is Lenka Utsugi, a new type whose God Ark takes the form of both blade and gun. Now, as one of Fenrir's greatest weapons, Lenka must master his God Ark if he is to fulfill his desire of wiping out the origami once and for all. The monsters continue to be born in mass while the remnants of humanity struggle to survive the night. Only God Eaters stand between the Aragami and the complete and total annihilation of the human race. Coming in at number 6, Sky Wizards Academy. This anime has been dubbed, premiered on July 2015 with 12 episodes. Its genres are action, drama, fantasy, magic, and school. Years ago, humanity almost got wiped out by huge magical armored insects that had become too strong and aggressive to hand. Because of these giant bugs, humans do not live on Earth anymore, but in floating cities instead. However, this does not mean that everything is lost the wizards from prestigious floating wizard academies are fighting these monsters. It appears that Kanata will get in deep waters more than once because of them. Kanata Age is a young man now labeled as a traitor, even though he was once praised as the Black Master Source. He gets a chance to repair his reputation by instructing the team E601, which seems to be facing some difficulties. It consists of three girls, Misora Whitetail, Lekti Eisenach, and Rico Flamel. 
each with problems of their own. Coming in at number 5, Midori no Hibi. This anime has been dubbed, premiered on April 2004 with 13 episodes. Its genres are comedy, drama, romance, ecchi, and shonen. There isn't a single person in Sakura Damon Heights who hasn't heard the legends of Seiji, the mad dog, Sawamura's demonically powerful right hand. His reputation makes it fairly difficult for him to approach girls, and after being rejected 20 times straight, he half-jokingly vows to finish high school with his right hand for a girlfriend. Much to his surprise, after waking up the next morning, Seiji discovers that his demon right hand has mysteriously turned into a miniature girl, Midori Kusagano, who reveals that she has had a crush on Seiji for the past three years. Because their situation is not ideal for either of them, Seiji attempts to return Midori to normal, but after causing a big misunderstanding at the Kusagano household, the pair decide to keep the predicament between them until a solution is found. Thus begins an odd relationship and what could be the only chance for Midori to finally be with the one she loved. Coming into number 4, Haguri Yusha no Aesthetica. This anime has been dubbed, premiered on July 2012 with 12 episodes. The genres are action, superpower, ecchi, and fantasy. About 30 years prior to the start of Haguri Yusha no Aesthetica, a number of selected people from Earth were summoned to other worlds with only about half of them being able to return. One of the people chosen was Akatsuki Asawa, who was sent to Alzard to defeat the Dark Lord Garius, which he did, before returning to his original world. Some of the successful chosen ones brought back little trinkets as souvenirs. Akatsuki, on the other hand, went a different route. He brought back the defeated Lord's daughter, Mew who is now posing as his long-lost little sister. Upon returning, Akatsuki and Miu are forced to join a special school called Babel, where they must train to one day match the powers they gained in Alzard, in hopes that they will one day be able to serve mankind. Will Akatsuki and Miu be able to keep her true identity a secret, or will their plan to live peaceful lives together go up in flames? Coming in at number 3, Beezlebub. This anime has only been subbed, premiered on January 2011 with 60 episodes. Its genres are action, comedy, demons, supernatural, school, and shonen. Ishiyama High is a school populated entirely by delinquents, where non-stop violence and lawless are the norm. However, there is one universally acknowledged rule, don't cross first year student Tatsumi Oga, Ishiyama's most vicious fighter. One day, Oga is by a riverbed when he encounters a man floating down the river. After being retrieved by Oga, the man splits down the middle to reveal a baby, which crawls onto Oga's back and immediately forms an attachment to him. Though he doesn't know it yet, this baby is named Kaiser de Imperana Beezlebub IV, or Baby Beel, for the short, the son of the Demon Lord. As if finding the future Lord of the Underworld isn't enough, Oga is also confronted by Hiddelgard, Beale's demon maid. Together, they attempt to raise baby Beale. Although surrounded by juvenile delinquents and demonic powers, the two of them may be in for more of a challenge than they could ever imagine. Coming in at number 2, Awari no Seraph. This anime has been dubbed, premiered on April 2015 with 24 episodes. Its genres are action, military, supernatural, drama, vampire, and shonen. With the appearance of a mysterious virus that kills everyone above the age of 13, mankind becomes enslaved by previously hidden, power-hungry vampires who emerge in order to subjugate society with the promise of protecting the survivors in exchange for donations of their blood. Among these survivors are Yuchiru and Michaela Hyakuya, two young boys who are taken captive from an orphanage, along with the other children who they consider family. Discontent with being treated like livestock under the vampire's cruel reign, Michaela hatches a rebellious escape plan that is ultimately doomed to fail. The only survivor to come out on this other side is Uchiru, who is found by the Moon Demon Company, a military unit dedicated to exterminating the vampires in Japan. Many years later, now a member of the Japanese Imperial Demon Army, Uchiru is determined to take revenge on the creatures that slaughtered his family. But at what cost? Coming in at number 1, Yu Yu Hakusho. This anime has only been subbed, premiered on October 1992 with 112 episodes. Its genres are action, comedy, demons, supernatural, martial arts, and shonen. One fateful day, Yasuke Urameshi, a 14-year-old delinquent with a dim future, gets a miraculous chance to turn it all around when he throws himself in front of a moving car to save a young boy. His ultimate sacrifice is so out of character that the authorities of the spirit realm are not yet prepared to let him pass on. Kuenma, heir to the throne of the spirit realm, offers Yasuke an opportunity to regain his life through the completion of a series of tasks. With the guidance of the death god, Boten, he is to thwart evil presences on earth as a spirit detective. To help him on his venture, Yasuke enlists ex-rival Kazuma Kawabara and two demons, Hai and Kaurama, who have criminal pasts. 
Together, they train and battle against enemies who would threaten humanity's very existence.